Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm not working on her today because I got home late today. Picked up a Christmas tree out all day with the family, so I'm exhausted. Um, instead, we're gonna do something different. We are gonna unbox this guy. Just picked up a Killer Bee cast, or wait, high performance cast oil pan with uh, windage baffle and ultimate oil pickup and a plug. So I'm gonna get the camera on a tripod here and we'll do some boxing. All right guys, let's get going on this. Um, pick up some more oil too. There's two five liter jugs now. Um, I should probably, with this, I should probably get some one quart stuff. Still need to order I just realized I didn't order them. Um, the OLM, OLM uh, rain guards. Uh, so, i get this course. Anyway, we'll see. All right, here's that oil pan. Look at that beauty. Hardware in here. Oh yeah, that's the NPT plug. Half NPT. And so, just reading online what this does um, provides 40% more oil capacity. Um, it prevents slosh, oil slosh from getting into the crank under aggressive acceleration and aggressive braking. So uh, track conditions, um, which I don't plan. I say this. I don't plan on tracking this this one, but we'll see. <laughs> don't read too much into it. Um, and then this is the ultimate the Killer Bee Ultimate Oil EJ Oil Pickup. Ooh, it's greasy. And so I know this provides. This says it, it provides a high flow oil. That, um, this guy. Oh, right, I didn't even know this came from. So, this is an RCM magnetic M20 uh, drain plug. Sweet. RCM, I don't know if you guys heard it. RCM, it's a rally British manufacturer. Um, and they make really, really high quality. Uh, Parts for Subarus, WRXs, and STIs, but they're they're really pricey. So, just so you know, that's why most people I don't think have heard of them. Um, and there's the seal. The seal goes, but who's that? And then here is the, the uh, windage baffle. There. Um, hardware needs for the install. Uh, hand sanitizer, I guess. Um, and instructions. Here's the ultimate oil pickup instructions. Install kit into the oil pan. Of course, my favorite part. Stickers. I love slapping you on my cars for some reason. I'm addicted to them. And then pamphlet. So yeah, that's all that's in the box. So yeah, there she is. Full package. Um, and then I, there's an option where you can get a oil filter in there and like a copper o-ring or a crush ring. Um, but I just, I got this from Subaru with the, the crush, whatever. 
So I knew, I know they have like an install kit that has all the, uh, I think all the hardware, extra hardware has, well, I, I think it has extra hardware, um, has hardware for all, for the bolts. If you don't want to reuse the OEM bolts, has the option to include like the, uh, um, it's like the dipstick relocation. You could do that. And then it includes, yeah, it includes like this uh, gray gasket maker, which I already have, so don't need it. And then it's like some 300V Motul oil, which I mean, I'm just gonna use that. I mean, I'll watch the video and see what they recommend, but I'm just gonna do with what I have, so. All right, guys, I decided to show you all the things that it came with. Um, put them together a little bit. So you can see here's the uh, MPT, or half MPT plug. And as you can see, half MPT, M20. It's like engraved in there, which is really cool. Go ahead and screw that in there. It's gonna be hand tight for now. And then you got the RCM, RCM M20 magnetic. There you go, magnetic. magnetic. This is aluminum. And my prize, copper O-ring. So boom, it comes with everything. Um, yeah. O-ring. Pretty sure it's crushing. This off with a pickup. This might be the kit. That I was talking about. Because I, I ordered this from a guy off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. And like the box was sealed. Like from Killer B. When I got it. So the guy didn't even open this thing. He had, he had a build going and I, I've bought him like six things from his build already. Including this. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are, uh, these are the replacement. I'm not, I, honestly guys, I'm not a fan of these Allen key. Um, bolts. I don't know why the flash isn't on. All right, flash is on. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these Allen key bolts. They're annoying. I think they strip a lot easier. At least with the other ones, you can get them. Out. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Um, yeah, look at that. Boom. Pull hardware around. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just like winging this. I have no idea how this is going to I haven't watched any videos yet. That's where I am. I'm a certified YouTube again. The rest of this goes to the pickup. I'm pretty sure this is copper crush. Yeah, I can replace the RCM one. Let me see. Apparently copper. Yeah, look at that. 
So here you go. This is OEM crush washer. See, kind of has like a little divot there. It's actually like crushes. This is Killer B crush washer. It's pretty standard. Or oh, RCM, sorry. RCM crush washer. This is Killer B copper. Damn. So I know uh, the copper crush washers. Online, um, I really need a better camera setup. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. This is so expensive. Yeah, it's a better steel, and it's freaking expensive. It's like seven bucks for that. So, I got all of this at a super discounted price. And I know Killer B wanted like. Uh, four ninety, like just for this, and then extra like hundred bucks for this, um, like eighty bucks for this, and, like ten bucks for a plug and a, and a magnetic drain plug, <sighs> smoking deal off of it. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's that second. That's that second. Oh, we have a Back out, baby. O ring, or oh, I found it loose, you put it on that oil pickup slot right there. And then you just go ahead and just get on top right there. black screws um, and what do you call those? Crush nut, whatever. I forget what you call those. Take one of those, put it between. Oh no, I'm sorry, wrong one. So it's just the black screw and then the spacer. And the spacer goes on top. Alright. 
don't know what these O-rings are for. Say. Oh, two small O-rings to replace dipstick uh, tube O-rings. So we, these go on the dipstick tube. Connect. So pick up. Copper crush washer to replace OEM plug crush washer. Do not use OEM crush washers. Okay, well, there's some uh, new news for you. So this, oops, sorry. That copper one has to be used with this cast um, oil pan. Or it will, will not work, apparently. Um, Teflon tape three and four revolutions to be used on oh yeah so that's already on there teflon tape on that plug on that one half mpt plug um what else does it say torque oem plug and mpt 32 foot panels um you want to do that right now sure why not That is perfect. I'm late. So you guys are like, why are you doing this on top of your laptop? Good point. No idea. going until I can't hand tighten it anymore, which is probably one more. All right. And we'll see if I have a wrench. Yeah, I'm not going to have a dip that big. So, yeah, that's, that's like one tool I don't have is like uh, the socket bits if you don't have a set of those. So, on to the tools to get this. Um, but we can definitely do this. So. Man, that's, 
crisscross pattern. Um, I know you can't. Um, like I think. I know there's, there's a couple of bolts, like these four bolts back here, I'm pretty sure, that you can't reach if you, if you don't have the engine out. Um, and so you'd have to like, drag, like, take off the pit stop mount and then jack up the transmission. And then you'll be able to reach these bolts. Um, Titan provided oil pickup bolts to use some kind of Um. I'm gonna have to look up how I like this. The voltage tray fits in. And how I'll show you guys how this place was set up. A little bit. There she be. So yeah, I mean, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you thought this unboxing was helpful and the information I brought you guys, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.